So, oh, it started. Hi. Ah, Tech Rabbit here again. Uh, continuing this um, saga of how to sense the laser signal. And, uh, let's see. So, we're using this same module we've been using before. set up the experiment so we have um, the laser diode here and um, here's the control mechanism control uh, tourister for it mm. but th this I covered in a previous video if you want to look that up how to control um, the laser diodes uh, and then um, what we have now is an uh, optical uh, diode which is part of a um, uh, heartbeat sensor. Um, you can buy these separate, so it has basically has an infrared LED and then an optical uh, diode uh, to sense the light. And it can, and if you clamp it on your finger, then it, it's the uh, it's the classical way of being able to um, to identify your pulse rate. And here I'm feeding 100 hertz in, and then this is the signal. It doesn't quite bottom out because there isn't enough light going in, but it seems to work relatively good. I mean, we can um, like 200, 300, yeah, let's see, 1,000 hertz. So I mean, you get reasonably good performance, and this hasn't got any amplifier on it or anything, so. The only drawback with this this optical diode that I have here um, is that um, it, it kind of it's formed so that it has a kind of a lens in it, so that you have to get the laser very directed, so that it goes directly into the correct yeah it go, enters the the um, diode in the correct way, and I actually don't think this um, yeah. It's supposed to react to infrared light, so I suppose the the like it, I mentioned before that the the amount of infrared being emitted by this laser is probably not that much, but um, you you get a reasonable signal. So let's see how high we can push it. Well, you get some malforming. That's four thousand hertz. Five thousand could still make it. A, make a um, analysis of that. As I said that it's just uh, the the board that it's assembled on I think it has a kind of a, uh, yeah, a, a resistor voltage divider for the diode so I think that you could probably make a better circuit by desoldering the uh, the optical diode and, and using it on you know in one's own circuit. That's 15 kilohertz, but now it's starting to get a bit, yeah, a bit like more mouthful than one probably wants. But I think it's for, for, um, yeah, I'm almost going to build a simple communication circuit or something. I mean, don't, don't need to have it running that fast. What was it like? Yeah, five kilohertz. kilohertz. I mean, I, I, I think, yeah, it would work. But as I said, the, the alignment seems to be critical here. Um, I was using the um, optical resistor, then um, it had a wider angle of view, so it wasn't so tricky with this alignment. So I only have to um, touch this and it will stop just a little. Well, you can't see me moving <laughs> <laughs> moving the laser diode. I just going to. I'm just going to move the laser diode just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny. See, see, then it disappears. So it's like, you know, a couple of millimeters of shift, and then it's gone. And it's actually quite tricky to get back. And you see how dependent it is on the movement. So you move it just a slightly off, off the um, the right position on the optical diode, and then it's sort of like, yeah. It's gone. Yeah, 
I thought that was a cool, cool test. Right. Now, I'll wrap this one up now. And it a bit longer than this. So, anyway, see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell.